Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at something very cool. This is from Kotobukiya. This is the 1 to 1 scale Megami device line. This is number 3, the Soul Hornet, but this one is the low visibility version. And so as you can see, uh, the box is different, a different color basically, and the actual model is in different colors as well, just uh, making this the low visibility version. I'm not really familiar with the title property or really what that means, but that just means it's in purple here instead of the original colors being mostly red. And so just want to start off by saying a huge thank you to USA Gundam Store for sponsoring this. Guys, if you haven't noticed, USA Gundam Store is now carrying some Kotobukiya kits, and so we wanted to celebrate by doing some Kotobukiya reviews. And so they'll be, if you guys are looking for a place in the US to get Kotobukiya kits, they'll be getting more of those uh, from now on into the future. So huge thanks to them for sponsoring this kit. But not only do we have the Soul Hornet here, but we also have number four, the Soul Roadrunner, which we will be taking a look at up next as well. Both of these kits I really wanted to check out and I was planning on just getting the regular versions, but then I saw we do also have now the option of the low visibility versions, which I actually hadn't seen, but these are really cool. I really like these colors probably more than the standard versions. So super excited to check these out. Uh, not only do the figures and like the model kits themselves look cool, but it's always nice when you have such cool box art. I just really love the styling of this box for one, just the black with this nice uh, like blue color. And then the uh, character design here is looking really cool in purple, I have to say. One other cool thing is this little English blurb here on the front of the box it says, type Hornet Air Force type equipped with a backpack with flight capability, enabling accurate airborne attacks, armed with a beam sword and beam gun for short and medium range combat, upgradable to a full armor mode by combining with the armaments of the Soul Roadrunner. So after checking out a couple of frame arms kits not too long ago, a lot of people recommended me to check out the Megami device line, and I was already planning on doing that anyway, but it's uh, good to know that you guys all highly recommend this line of uh, model kits as well. A little bit different from the frame arms girls, uh, basically the same, but there's some changes that are not uh, quite exactly the same. So looking forward to this. This looks like it's going to be a really, really nice one. So here on the side, once again, this is just has the same kind of stuff that's on the front of the box. It's really cool, just again, with the gold in there as well for the Megami device logo and the name and the low visibility bit so that again just really cool box art for this it's really eye-catching I think so here we can see just some different options for us as replacements so I'm guessing all the parts for making it look like this are also included uh, we'll find out soon enough so this is just again Soul Hornet low visibility uh, just kind of showing it without everything else on there that's kind of what the uh, barest form of it is going to look like and just some other things included here I guess we'll have some like beam saber sort of effect parts for that as well uh, just kind of showing what it looks like sort of like this but with the actual kit and then here's how it's going to look just exactly straight out of the box without being painted or decaled up or anything like that it's just going to look exactly like that so you can kind of see the difference of how a fully painted and decaled version looks from just the kit just straight out of the box around here on the other side showing you kind of what else you're going to be getting in here a few different face options a kind of like serious face a super serious face and a less than serious face. And they have this nice big sheet of water slide decals here included as well with some really cool looking decals in there for sure. Numbers and eyes, you can see eyes uh, decals there. And then the list price for this at 5,000 yen. So it's definitely going to be a little more expensive, but as we know from Kotobukiya kits and especially the frame arms line because they're quite complicated. Uh, that that is not too out of the normal, but I have to say from my experience with them so far It's they're definitely worth it. They're such well engineered kits and they look so good uh, Once they're done so here we have some light blue color parts a little bit darker blue color parts a little bit darker blue and more of that same color there here We have some of our pink parts there for the hair of course uh, some more of that light blue, light blue, and a skin flesh tone parts here. Some molded silver parts, that's interesting. And there's our clear parts, the clear part for the helmet and for the beam effects. Some what looks to be kind of a molded bronze kind of color there. Some more light blue. Our little stand plate there. Uh, a few of our pre-painted parts here. These are just out in a separate bag and see like there's a little bit of pre-painting on those. All of our hand options here. Looks like we've got closed fists, open resting hands, open expressive hands, holding hands, and trigger finger hands. And then our different face options here, which are definitely looking pretty cool. The open mouth laughing face looks definitely pretty weird without anything being behind that mouth. That looks kind of odd. And then here's that water slide decal sheet. Quite large and looks very, very nice. So those look pretty cool. Okay, let's get a look at the manual. Just again, the artwork here featured prominently on the front in a big, large number three. Megami device here on the back. 
On the inside, just a whole bunch of photos, basically kind of the same photos which are featured on the outside of the box, except for maybe this one of the back where you can kind of see those big engines. This is kind of one of the things that I like the most about this design, how these are kind of like these just big uh, engines here on the side. Those look really cool. Next, we've got our parts list, and you can see these uh, blacked out areas are the equivalent of Bandai's X's, um, parts that we won't be using for this kit, and there's a fair amount of them, just a few anyway. Then construction is going to start off with the head, and then the body, and the arms, and the legs, and then the whole body is done, and then we're going to kind of move on to the rest of all the armor and everything from there. So we're going to kind of be taking some stuff apart, and then swapping out some different stuff, building the helmet, uh, putting that on, building the different parts of, like, or for around the chest and the legs and the kind of engine bits I was talking about, the kind of sh shoulder binders, I guess we'll say, for lack of a better word, uh, and those parts there, and then onto just some um, weapons and all of that, weapons, weapons, and mounting all that stuff and just kind of different options between all of that. And on the last page, we've got our color and decal guide. So decal guide is here, pointing out where all of those decals will go around on the kit. And then a color guide here, all in Japanese, so there's no English in this case. You'll have to use a like translator app or something like that. Not that big a deal. All right, so let's just run through exactly what we've got all in here, taking a look at this more closely. Once again, this is just our main base plate for this, and this, this kind of really nice blue color. And once again, here are those pre-painted parts there, a little bit of orange painted on that blue part, this uh, kind of lining bit. It's kind of like a pre-printed decal on there. And this little bit here, which is maybe going to be kind of hard to see, that's just got a little bit of pre-painting on that little tiny part there. And once again, look at the faces. These are really great. They they look so good to just use them like this. The only problem is if you wanted to change the skin tone of the kit, then you'll have to uh, repaint these and then uh, just use the decals. Not that big of a deal, but if you are okay with the skin color of this already, then you can avoid having to mess with that and just use these really, really nice faces just straight out of the box. Okay, so runner eight is in this lighter blue color. Basically everything is either in a lighter blue or darker blue tone. So this is the lighter one. It's kind of a really nice kind of light almost like a periwinkle blue, I guess is kind of the word for it, right? So you can see we do have a whole bunch of parts on here and everything looks quite nice. Runner B would be our skin tone parts for the kit, at least the majority of them. There's not a whole lot, not a lot of exposed skin with this kit, but here's some of that. Runner C is a small little runner here of some more parts in light blue. And runner D as well, just some more light blue parts here on another small runner. Runner E here is in that darker blue color, and we've just got a whole bunch of parts here, as well as a copy of this runner as well. So I'm guessing these are going to be kind of parts probably for like arms and legs. Runner F is more parts here in dark blue, and runner G as well, just kind of more of the same. A lot of these parts just aren't really recognizable to me, so it's kind of hard to really say what is on these, but there's just a lot of little parts. Runner H, just with a couple of little small parts here, back to the lighter blue color. Runner J1, I'm guessing these are going to be kind of mostly parts for like the exterior armor, kind of binders as I was calling them, because we do have two of this J1 runner. I keep skipping back and forth, light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, but we're back to dark blue again when, Again here for the K-Runner with some parts for the helmet, and we can see some weapon parts on there obviously as well. The Runner L is a small little runner here, just four parts only in this kind of molded bronze color. It's really quite nice, I have to say. We've got two of these. And then Runner M1 is in a kind of molded silver, also looks quite nice, I have to say. And then Runner N1 as well, also molded in that same color, just with some more little parts on there in molded silver. Runner P1 is molded in that kind of very clear reddish orange color. Looks really, really quite nice, I have to say. And take notice, Bandai, here is how you place a nub mark on a clear part. You put the nub on a place that is not going to show. If this was a Bandai kit, I can't help but imagine that Bandai would have connected that gate there and we would have had a nub right on the part of that where we wouldn't want to have to deal with that. But, of course, there's nubs here on the effect parts. And I do have to say, this is in that hard plastic. It's not like Bandai usually prints their uh, clear parts, like especially the beam effect parts, in a little bit softer plastic. This is not. This is still hard plastic, so do still want to be careful with the nub mark on that. And also notice that the handle is just molded together with this, so you will have to paint that handle in solid if you want that to be not clear. Runner Q here, as you can see, is our parts for the hair. That's all in this really nice pink color. Then runner S is just a few more parts in flesh tone here. I think these are for in the head, basically. And then this is a different kind of stomach part from what's on the B runner. And then last but not least, back to dark blue for runner Y. Just a couple little parts on there, uh, basically for kind of what would be polycaps or something. No polycaps of any kind for this kit, so there we go. Right, so as I said, I'm really looking forward to this. I, uh, From my past experience with a couple of Frame Arms kits recently, uh, you could say that I've definitely caught the bug and I really like these kits now. So 
you're going to be seeing more of these from time to time here on my channel. So hope you guys don't mind that. As always, i got to say another big thank you to SA Gundam Store uh, for supporting that. And yeah, I think you guys, uh, at least from what I've seen, have a fair interest in this stuff. So this is pretty cool too. I like that it definitely, uh, now that I've seen the parts and the parts aren't really purple, for some reason I was thinking that this is kind of like a kind of nice like light purplish color but now that I'm looking at it again now that I've seen the parts I can see it is definitely kind of just more blue I think I just kind of maybe wanted it to look a little bit more purple than it is but yeah that's the looking at the parts they're definitely not really purple at all but looks very cool can't wait to get this built I'll get this built up and we'll take a look at this and then we'll take a look at the Roadrunner up next after that so thank you guys so much for watching leave any other questions and comments down below I'll see you next time bye bye hey thanks for watching guys Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam Store. Use that coupon code ZAKURILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.